guys, Cos Stamford today and welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you a GTA 5 uh, money glitch that you can do with ease. You don't need anything. Um, it's really, really, really simple, simple glitch. Uh, sorry by the way that I haven't uploaded in ages. Um, I haven't been, couldn't really be bothered to be fair. Um, so what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to be in story mode. And you're going to want to go over to online and then play GTA Online. Now what you're going to want to do, this is important, go into an invite only session. So, we'll just let that load. Basically, when you start loading in, what you're going to do, this is really simple, what you're going to want to do is drive to a 10 car garage. Now, it doesn't have to be an it doesn't have to be just a normal garage. It could be an apartment, it could be anything, but it has to be 10 car. Also, the other good thing, it doesn't matter what car you're in. You could be in any car. You could be in you could be in that car off the street, you could be any car off the street. You could be in the X80 Proto, it literally does not matter. But basically, all you need to do is go to a 10 car garage. You're then going to want to drive it into your 10 car garage. Right now, I'm in my uh, Dal Piro Heights apartment. Literally, it does not matter what a carriage you create, it doesn't matter if it's full, it doesn't matter what cars are in it. Basically, all you need to do, you need to go in a 10 car garage, you need to get in your car. Now, what you need to do then is call Lester, then you dial him. Then this is the this is on this really important bit. You press up on the D-pad twice. Go on locate a plane. Then press the trigger and A. Press trigger first and then A. Now it doesn't always work, but what? So obviously for me that time it did not work. But all you'll need to do is drive back into the garage. And then once you're back in the garage, you're going to want to then obviously get back into your car. Doesn't matter what car, by the way. Then you go into Leicester, up on the D-pad twice, once you done, up on the D-pad twice, then trigger A. And obviously, luckily I got it on the second time, but what you're going to want to see, you're going to want to see right there, located a plane, but the important thing is there's not going to be an airplane symbol on the map. If you get the yellow plane symbol on the map, that means you've done it wrong. And you'll need to restart your GTA, well not restart your GTA, basically you're going to want to go back into story mode and then go onto an invite only and basically restart the process. And if nothing happens, if you don't get any text like what I did the first time, if you get nothing, literally all you need to do is drive, drive back into your garage, uh, garage, there's no issue with that. So basically what you're then going to want to do, you're going to want to drive all the way back to the airport and you're going to want to go into the Titan hangar. And from there, literally all you're going to want to do is wait. Now, it doesn't matter how long, you could wait for about 2 minutes, you could wait for about 20 hours. All you need to do is go into the garage, What you, uh, the hangar, what you first see is 4 grand. Now, you know you've done this correctly, when it says 4 grand, then it should then start going up in a grand. Now, as you can see there, it's a grand. And then another grand. And it basically keeps adding up and adding up. It's usually a grand every second or every 2 seconds. And obviously, it seems small, but if you do the math, then you can get about 1.8 mil every an hour. If you leave this running and just go about your day, you know, making food, going on YouTube, you know, going on Snapchat, social media, all that, all you need to do is just keep this running with this little hat. Now, obviously, you can also use an elastic band on your joystick so you don't get kicked for idling, um, but I'm not sure whether you need to do that, but obviously, you can do that. That is an option. And literally, that's the most easiest money you can make in GTA because it seems like small, but if you think in six hours you can make about 10k, no, not 10k, 10.8 mil. Literally for six hours of doing nothing. So it's obviously a really easy money glitch. Literally no effort at all. Um, and yeah, so thank you a lot for watching. Sorry by the way for the poor, um, like. Uh, video recording but I couldn't be bothered to like set everything up so I just put my phone in front of the screen um, also sorry for not uploading in ages but yeah I just couldn't be bothered um, and yeah make sure to share this around with all your friends or whatever uh, this is literally the easiest money glitch and apparently it's been in the game for ages uh, one of my mates showed me how to do it um, and it's a piece of cake so yeah thank you guys for watching uh, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video so yeah peace out